Next, open up your class list Excel file or your group signup sheet alongside the pre-assigned breakout rooms file. Copy the student email addresses. You could click one and drag to select a range of them and copy and paste those over. Or press and hold your control button and choose multiple names out of order. Control C to copy and paste those in order over here in the pre-assigned file. You might also choose to rename the rooms. So rather than calling them room one, room two, you might choose to give them a predefined label that helps students orient themselves to the topic that they're discussing or working on. Once you've completed that, remove any extraneous information to avoid causing any confusion. Then save the file to your desktop and we'll prepare to upload it into Zoom. Back in your Zoom web account, either schedule a new meeting or edit a recurring meeting. If it's a recurring meeting, you'll need to edit all occurrences in order to turn on the breakout room pre-assign. After that, you can edit individual occurrences to customize classes. Once you have the meeting open, scroll down to find the options menu. Choose to turn on the breakout room pre-assign and if you would like, you can go ahead and save those changes to be able to customize the individual meetings. If you have a smaller class, you might choose to create the rooms manually or go ahead and import the CSV we looked at earlier. Browse to your computer to find the file and pull in the breakout room sample document. Once the breakout room sample document opens, you'll see each of the rooms listed in order according to the names that you assign them and the ability to remove those rooms. And when you click on the individual rooms, seeing the student name email addresses in each of those, you can choose to move students to different rooms or remove them. You can also add individual participants if you have students come later in the semester. Double check that each of the rooms is configured correctly and go ahead and save your changes. You'll see that those breakout rooms are applied, in this case, to all occurrences of the meeting or, in any other case, to individual occurrences of the meeting. Save those changes. And now, the next time you're in class, you can launch these pre-assigned breakout rooms.